yeah, what's up ladies and gents, YouTube channel, Kaiju EXT. How good is this truck, guys, is what I am wondering. These are the specifications. 2100 kV motor, four pole CNC machine, aluminum housing, waterproof, six SESC, 25 kilogram servo, and you got this molded roof protection, which is pretty sick. I think it's not that bad of a car, honestly. It comes in two colors, the pearl white and the metallic copper. I got the uh, copper version. Ooh, that smell, baby, that smell. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is what it comes with. You have a wrenching tool for your wheel nuts, a few stickers, your instruction manual, okay? You do have the nice tethers for your body pins, okay? Your Red Cat RCR 2CE controller. I got no problem with these. I love the way it feels in the hand. You can reach it with your thumb if you want to do that. Then one-handed driving like I used to while you're filming without a head mount. Okay, you got your body here. Let's take that body off. Let you guys look at the internals here. You have your dusty shroud. So that way when you're bashing on the mud, whatnot, it will prevent that dust from getting your interior dirty okay you do have a jumper i just pulled it off so in case you wanted to run one six or four s battery okay the can is smaller compared to the regular kaiju it is extended in the chassis i think the regular kaiju maybe it may be like an inch and a half shorter so it stops right here so this wheel will be right here the shock will be like right here because the, the chassis is a little bit shorter so when you're looking at the max traxxas and the version 2 versus the ver version 1 it's kind of a similar situation here except this is more like a truckified looking body versus that kind of blue kaiju outcast looking old school body that it came with originally Okay, so I switched the straps because I think it's better. That's one of the problems. These straps are a little short. So I just took one of my aftermarket straps because I got a bunch of them and I made it a little bit longer to fit. Like if I wanted to put a single 6S and whatnot. And you got your little Red Cat logo on the fan at ESC. The motor does have a fan as well, which is pretty sick. Um, but yeah, this car doesn't have LEDs like the first Kaiju, but I did kind of um, tighten up the um, shocks a little bit to get a little bit more um, out of the box I think it feels pretty good we'll have to run it to see but quick little spin around you got your red cat logo on the bottom you got I think a weak point is here I know that I just I did close on that deal so this this truck was a hundred dollars off they have that 30-day deal right now they got the volcano right now I was thinking of getting that too because Nezzy did pick that up and it made me want to buy it. Honestly, it looked pretty sick. But I know how weak the Volcano is. And I already have the Blackout. And I, the Blackout XTE, you know. And I was thinking the Volcano e EPX Pro. But it was like, you know, it's got like the eight shocks and whatnot. But um, yeah, this thing looks good, guys. I just want to show you real quick the unboxing of the car. Nothing new here. You guys all know how RCs are. But uh, yeah, let's do a quick spin around. Oh, snap. I love that. These wheels are belted. It has that little red cat sticker on the interior interiors of the wheel wells they are belted i don't think the wheels are as wide as the original kaiju but they are belted the original kaiju took a dang beating the only thing that broke was the servo horn last time when i ran it at the track but this thing does it has a wheelie bar included it is adjustable um i love the silver um shock bodies that's on there similar to the original kaiju i'll have to compare it to like the be 6s to see if it's actually like longer wider or whatnot because it kind of reminds me of that. And I can't wait to run it because I know this truck is tough as nails. And we'll have to really see um, how it does. So uh, anyways, guys, like the windows look kind of tinted. I'm going to run it against the version 2 Max because I have the version 1 Max too. But since the version 2 is the extended chassis version of that truck, it'll be interesting to run this. And kind of see what not if the longer wheelbase makes a difference in the way it handles when it's on the track. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching Town Track signing out. You guys have a great week and and these RC videos about to come back, y'all. Just kidding, y'all. So being um, that this is one of my favorite A-scales of all time, I do feel that the length is pretty long if you look at it. I'll have to hold this side by side. 
you can see it is pretty narrow compared to the B6S. The B6S, like pillow damn wheels are so awesome, man. It's pretty sick. I'll never stop loving that truck. But these wheels are belted, so they won't balloon like these do. So if you feel like ballooning, drive this truck. If you don't, drive this truck. And this is Team Red Cat. Team Red Cat's no still. I don't know if it still exists, but I don't know. I always, I always like Team Red Cat, and I do love the MT-10 version um, and the MT-80 version. But uh, anyways, I think the ground clearance is pretty high on this bad boy compared to that one. You see, it's actually a little higher, I think. So so we'll have to see. But let's hold it like like a side by side between them to see if the the wheel bases are about equal. Uh, looking at it, I think they are. See, so so this one is extended chassis because the original Kaiju did not have a wheel base that long compared to this actual Kaiju EXT version. So I think like looking at it. The Kaiju EXT version, the longer wheelbase is gonna make it probably run a little bit differently. Like when you're in the air and you're trying to flip it and whatnot. But whereas like new Kaiju EXT, man, that looks so good. <laughs> the new Kaiju EXT will probably like turn in air a little differently. You know, it might stay nose down a little bit instead of popping up when you wanna do some flips, whatnot. But that copper orange looks kind of good, y'all. Anyways, guys, okay, that's it. Final look compared to my BE6. S and I am finished. Catch y'all later.